What's up YouTube? Today I am going to show you how to force blue screen of death Windows 7. Now this is um, the only operating system. I think it probably works on Vista too, but this is one of the few operating systems that is actually very easy to force blue screen. Other operating systems may require software or just a lot more lengthy process, but it's very easy to force Windows 7 to blue screen. This should not cause any harm to your computer because you'll just have to restart it. But um, I'm doing it on a virtual machine, so even if it does destroy the virtual machine, I can just um, create a new one and reinstall Windows because I already have the ISO file. But anyway, let's just show you, show you how to force blue screen Windows 7. So the first thing you need to do is go into the task manager. So go into the start menu and then search for um, task manager. And then the one you need to click is view running processes with task manager. And then you, and then you should be in the processes tab and then you need to click show processes from all users. So go ahead and click that. And now it's going to show us all the processes. So the one we need to locate is C S R S S dot E X E. Now there's actually two of them here. I think it's this one. Go ahead and click end process. And yes, this is the right one. If it wasn't the right one, just do the other one. And then check the box for abandon, unsave data, and shut down. And when you click shut down, it's the system's gonna blue screen. You'll have to restart the virtual machine. But let's make this a little more interesting. Um actually, when you um when a blue screen of death happens, whether it's um forced or not, um, whatever sound is currently being played, like whatever sound, will cause the sound to go into a looping glitch state. So I'm just going to be playing a song. It's called I'm Blue. It's, more, it's a really good song. So um, yeah, let's actually um, be playing the song while we're doing it. And this, for some reason, this beat. Okay. I'm gonna wait till it gets to a certain part. And then when I think it's ready, then I'm just gonna hit shut down when it's really gonna blue screen. Whoa. So you can see it's dumping physical memory to disk. Now it's going to restart the virtual machine. And um, that normally happens. You know what? I really need to just shut down this volume. Okay, it was funny at first. Now it's getting annoying. Oh, thank God. All right, back to the virtual machine. This sound, even though... So now, this is what would happen on a real computer, too. In, in, when you would go to... Um, um, st boot up your computer the next time um, this is what you would get I'm gonna go ahead and press enter to start Windows normally and then it should start Windows 7 with a success I wonder if this sound the blue screen sound is still on I'm gonna take that as a yes but um, it should start successfully well guys, that was sort of glitching. It wasn't really starting correctly. So what I did is I just closed um, VirtualBox and now I'm gonna restart the virtual machine. This is my Windows 7 one. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and um, the sound is back on. So I mean the blue screen of death sound will stop as soon as you close it. So um, yep, let's just go ahead and start up Windows 7. That normally happens on the virtual machine, but then you let it do its thing. I hate these messages. So now um, you can launch the startup repair, which is what's recommended, but I like to just start Windows normally. And then um, it's gonna start up Windows 7, just like it would normally. And there should be no damage at all on your computer.
And then I'm gonna wanna, ah, oh, my tripod's broken, you guys, and I didn't even do anything. I don't think. Anyway, let me just enter my password real quick. So you can see everything starting up just fine. Same thing would be happening if this was a real computer. Okay, so um, th basically the only thing it's going to say is Windows has recovered from an unexpected shutdown. We don't need to check for the solution because we already know why it shut down. I mean, we ended a process that's critical for Windows to run. Without that process, Windows is unable to function. And if it's very abruptly ended, Windows is not going to know what to do, thus forcing a shutdown in blue screen. So just cancel that. And here you go. Your Windows operating system is ready to be used once again. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I have food all over my shirt. I hope you guys enjoyed that um, tutorial on how to blue screen Windows 7. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.